We have also heard from Goldman Sachs economists saying that they predict a rate cut in each of the next two meetings just because perhaps the Fed will want to keep bond markets calm. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's a fair assessment. I think if the Fed doesn't hit market expectations and the market expects a rate cut in September and two more rate cuts after that, if the market doesn't uh, uh, get those, uh, hit those expectations, if it doesn't hit those market expectations, then markets will sell off, stock prices will decline, credit spreads will widen, the value of the dollar will increase, and it will, it will shake an already very shaky economy. So, yeah, I think the Federal Reserve really has to follow through here and hit those expectations. And if they don't, of course, we continue to see, as you say, the market's being pretty shaky, the 210 curve. Uh, repeatedly now inverting. This GTV chart on the Bloomberg, though, showing that it perhaps is not the inversion that people care so much about, but the re-steepening of the yield curve. You're seeing the asset prices, uh, whether it's gold rising and the S&P 500 and 10-year bond prices falling, because it's a re-steepening when we're seeing uh, those problems arise. So we're in a politics show. If we're headed towards a 2020 election in November, when could we expect this inevitability of an economic downturn to happen. So are you asking when the next recession is? Yeah. Is that what you're asking? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I, you know, I think recession risks are uh, uncomfortably high and they're rising. And I think the proximate cause for that is the trade war. Uh, the trade war is doing very serious damage to the global economy and to the U.S. economy. I mean, the European economy is on the precipice of recession, and our economy is clearly slowing and threatens to go into recession. So uh, I, I think as long as the president continues to pursue uh, the higher tariffs and the trade war, uh, odds of a recession in the next uh, 12 months are pretty high, are pretty high. And the Fed's going to work really hard to make sure that doesn't happen, thus the rate cuts, and, then that's, and thus why the Fed does not want to upset markets and cause markets to, um, to go down, but, but it's going to be pretty tough to, for them to thread that needle.